Hey there folks, Rel here. I've uh, spent some time flying around in Dark Veil's new MOBA title, and I'd like to share why I think you should play Forge. MOBA, if you're unfamiliar with the term, stands for Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. I didn't make it up, and I don't like it either. The game, it it plays like Smite, or a little bit like Savage 2, uh, and as a side note, Savage 2 is absolutely amazing, and while it's an older game, there's still a decent-sized community that play it, and I think put a link down in the, uh, the description if you get interested. Anyway, I've got some gameplay for you. My first time, uh, first time playing this map, so I was kind of figuring out, like, what it was all about. But it's my second time playing the Pyromancer class, which you see right now. I, I really, really like it. It's a lot of fun, a lot of, um, utility and mobility and, uh, damage and pretty, it's pretty awesome all around. Because my viewers are so awesome, I'm actually giving away a free copy of Forge to one lucky person via Steam. So if you have a Steam account, listen to this. There are two things you have to do to enter. Firstly, this giveaway is for subscribers only, so if you're not uh, subscribed to the channel, just click the friendly subscribe button, and the second is you need to send me a tweet. There is a, a click to twink... Uh, Wow, words are hard. Click to tweet button in the description below. Just fire that one off and you'll uh, be all signed up. The winner will be chosen on Monday, December 10th. I know that's not a huge window of time, but I really want you guys to try this game. So if it's the sort of thing that tickles your fancy, please just remember to send that tweet out. So as you might be able to tell, this game has a lot to do with mobility and strategy. Everything, uh, there, there's a lot of vertical elements in it, which is something that I, I desperately miss in a lot of uh, a lot of games in general. I mean, if you look at Smite, it's there's no verticality at all. It's just uh, you, you play on the ground level and you stick to lanes and whatever, whatever. And the game, it, it feels, I don't know, it's kind of just ugly in that respect. But this, this is taking terrain to your advantage. Reminds me actually a lot of Guild Wars 2 in that respect, and a little bit in the art style. But this game is uh, its extremely fast paced, uh, especially on the smaller maps. This is not one of them, this is actually a pretty big map. And I, I really, I see a lot of potential for this game being very, very cool in organized competition, because the classes in the game, they fit very specific roles, and they have, uh, you know, they all have that sort of uh, couple things that they're really good at. So the tank is really going to be a tank, the healer is really going to be a healer, and the damage dealer is really going to be a damage dealer. There is a leveling element in this game, but it's, it's very different from what you normally see. The folks at Dark Veil Games, they seem to really pride themselves on uh, the, a no-grind sort of concept. And that has to do, uh, they, they kind of show that off with with the, the way that you level. So when you level, you get, you know, titles and uh, skins and whatever, whatever. But the most interesting part of it is that you get points to alter your attributes. So you don't just get stronger and get new weapons and armor that make you this beefy sort of character. You get to, you can take away, you know, some of your armor and then give yourself some additional energy, which is what I did. I took away some of the physical um, damage resistance that I had because the only, I, don't know, I didn't really see a need for that given my uh, my range and mobility. I haven't uh, I haven't fully figured out the level system yet, but. It seems it seems pretty in depth for for this just you know sort of fun little game, and the balance is there. At least that's what it feels like. There is a you know like I said there there isn't a way to kind of become you know really overpowered. What it is mostly is just adjusting your character to fit your playstyle specifically. In addition to your uh, your stats, you can actually tinker with the abilities as well. So you can um, you can make certain abilities give up some of their damage and uh, in favor of other effects. And those are kind of predetermined, and you pick from a set of them. But but it's still you know very in depth, very very cool. 
And as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of flying around, uh, and that's, like I said, mobility is a huge, huge aspect in this game. So pyromancers actually have this, uh, they have a knockback ability, that which also knocks them back, this fiery explosion, and you can use it to just, like, cruise around, you know, every once in a while. It does cost mana, but whatever. Um, at this point, I'm actually just going to kind of describe what's going on and prattle on about the game for the rest of the video, so if you want, feel free to tune me out. Just remember to send me that tweet for a chance to win a free copy of Forge. And once you do, once I uh, select the winner, again, that's December 10th, uh, this is this coming Monday, I, I'll i send you a message via Twitter, uh, and you just need to give me your, uh, your Steam account name and... And that's pretty much it, you know, and then I'll, I'll just friend you on Steam, or, and I'll send the game your way. So, uh, kind of just uh, running around. What I was trying to do is, uh, for a lot of this game, is, you know, I try to get the, the vertical advantage on people, and I can, I can hit people from pretty far away, and I haven't... Uh, you know, I'm not keen on uh, on working all of the abilities yet because there is a number of a good number of them, and I didn't honestly I didn't read a lot of them. So there's a few core abilities that I use. The uh, like the knockback, I use that incessantly. Just the the range on it is so amazing that uh, you can get just in the stupidest places, and it's once like every what five or six seconds. I do end up uh, dying, I don't know if I've already done it, I wasn't really paying attention, <laughs> I do end up dying uh, once and then the, the feed actually cuts, I kill this guy right here. Um, and uh, you know, in the game play, it starts to pick up after that, so right now it's starting to get a little hot, so to speak. That was a terrible pun. The um, and I, I got really, really low HP, so I'm looking for a shrine. I wasn't sure what that statue thing was, but um, I know there's a shrine up here, so I'm going to kind of head towards it. Some, you know, this game doesn't seem, or I think it was just a match. It was it was extremely laggy because of the host or whatever, but sometimes my abilities just, they wouldn't fire, like that one right there. And so I'm going to hit the shrine right here and pick up some extra HP. And I wasn't sure if hanging around it would actually heal, but this this uh, the shaman class right here, he uh, later on he'll actually stick with me for a good amount of time, and I, I end up being the the second highest uh, on the scoreboard for uh, you know for the team. Uh, and this the shaman actually following me around is, picks up uh, first. I I don't know. This is like their flag. This whole uh, this whole map is a, is a capture the flag sort of orientated map and there's something about a tower I don't know what it's what that's about but you can capture it I guess um, so we're just gonna take this crystal all the way back to our base and he is gonna get ambushed by this assassin here so assassins are kinda neat they can uh, they deal a lot with bleed damage and they're they're very melee oriented but they can also suck you into like the uh, the shadow world which is sometimes you'll see the the guy with the crystal actually disappear, and as well as the assassin. So they get to fight mano a mano, uh, yeah, like he is right now. And uh, yeah, so it's just kind of um, you know, interesting elements of the game. This guy, I'm just gonna harp on him from a long ways away. I didn't want to waste my knockback because I knew that he didn't use his yet, but I do end up using it, and uh, <laughs> it doesn't take me anywhere. Not a big deal though, he still goes down. I'm just pinging on this guy from a distance. I do have full mana, I should be using some. Oh, here's a bug, actually. Uh, I was stunned at the same time I activated my shield. So my shield actually stayed on and I didn't really notice it. So shield, you just hold right click and you can um, mitigate the damage of incoming attacks. Uh, but it costs you mana, just like uh, sprinting costs you mana, I think jumping costs mana, and of course the spells themselves. So that's the... um the big sort of regulator, and this is me chasing this guy down. He's not really paying attention. That ability right there is so much fun. It's uh, like a flame bola, and he's gonna... I knocked him back here, and I'm just uh, just gonna kick him around. I found this just extremely entertaining. 
so yeah, yeah, kick you into the water, get in there, get in there, yeah, you can stay there. And <laughs> then I'm on my merry way again. The leveling system works on, uh, it's based on account experience. So once you see me, when, when you get a medal, you get a certain amount of experience, and then you invest experience into certain characters. And then from there you get to, uh, to do that whole thing I was talking about with the um, with the altering skill points and everything else. The max level is 99. Oh, watch this, watch this. I'm gonna hit him with a flame bola. Boom! Knocks him into the pit. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> the, uh, our, our flag little crystal thing, it gets stuck there. It, it ends up resetting later, but I'm like, you know, trying to think about, like, do we get it out? You know, what do we do with it? But, you know, at least the other people wouldn't be able to get it. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> so I thought that was kind of interesting. Let's pick up some more HP right here on this shrine. I don't know if there's any others in the map, but this is the one I keep running by. So I'm heading in the uh, the general direction of their base and looking for something to kill. Uh, they actually ended up, I'm not sure, you know, throughout the game, but they actually had two more teammates than us. And uh, we did pretty well, given the circumstances. That's me actually getting flame bullet by another Pyromancer. Yeah, and if I remember correctly, I am going to die. Okay, no, no, I'm not. Never mind. This guy, uh, this assassin snuck the, snuck the crystal, and he's going to take it back to the base, and I'm going to cover him as well. It's moving quick. The shaman's here as well. The uh, number one on the scoreboard. One of our major uh, downsides is I don't think we played a lot of defense. You know, we were kind of just kind of running around and, and killing things like this. Like, it doesn't. This guy's a shaman, so he's a little harder to take down, but we shouldn't be mobbing him like this. You know, at least it was kind of on the way to the base. Oh, and I was interested, like, what is up here? You know, maybe that's the tower thing, so I kind of launched myself up, and there's absolutely nothing. And this shaman. Uh, hold on. Kind of looking around. The shaman's actually waiting for me. He's going to follow me for the rest of the match. And we're going to do a little bit of work as I clumsily fly around the map. So this really surprised me, the uh, just the dedicated healer aspect. I mean, that's in a lot of games, you know, wow, if you have a pocket priest or whatever. But, yeah, I couldn't go that way. The... He was, like, he's extremely, extremely buff, and you'll see an example of it up here. So, there's a lot of, you know, that's where the enemy crystal is, and... Now I'm trying to keep, um, trying to keep my distance a little bit while spamming, like, random spells I, I wasn't really... You know, I'm not really too keen on what I'm what I'm throwing out, but my mana was just like staying filled the whole time, and I think that's an effect of the uh, the shaman there. This assassin is trying to take us down. I had no idea how to pick up the crystal. Not that it would probably be a good idea, but it's just me and him against like what five people, six people, and yeah, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually get a little bit of distance. I did this primarily to um to kind of give them a knockback, which I think this ability does, but it didn't seem like it, so that poor shaman, I, I kind of left him, you know, for a bit, you know, he goes down to half HP, and then he kind of picks himself up again. And that was bad, I shouldn't have left him, especially since I have full HP and mana, but, uh, you know, trying to, trying to do some spells, trying to figure things out. And he does go down, and that's unfortunate, but... It's my fault. It's all my fault. And, uh, you know, this is pretty much the the end. Like, uh, I get hit with a darkness shot from Pathfinder, or blinding shot, or whatever. And I'm trying to, um, you'll see me trying to intermittently block, you know, attacks from him. Which I think worked a little bit, but that's just, you know, it was five guys, and yeah, they, they end up taking me down. And that pretty much ends the round. But, uh, so that's that. I know that was a lot of uh, prattling on. 
that about wraps it up. Uh, Forge, very, very cool game, a lot of fun. If you're interested in seeing more of these style of videos, where I explore new games and talk about them, slash give them away, just comment, like, and subscribe, and tell your friends about this channel if you can. And uh, thanks for watching. We're all signing off.